What's up guys, More Medic one here, and today we're on a road call to one of my facilities. We're going out to work on one of my stretch golf carts. Uh, the only thing that I know is that it has a flat and then the operator said it looks like one of the wheels is bent. So I don't know what in the world we've done. We might have run over something, hit a curb head on. I wouldn't put that past some of these operators. But anyway, let's go ahead and I'll meet you all out there see you in a minute so i've got the cart in uh service mode and i'm running it because when i got here the daggum battery was just about dead so i'm just running it to maybe help charge this battery and so they'll need to put it on a battery charger for a couple of hours or overnight on trickle yes it does have a flat it has something in the tire i have no idea what it is but it's also got some extensive damage to the rear axle. Holy crap, check this out. Hey, little froggy, where are you going? It's hot on that concrete, ain't it? <laughs> Man, the first thing I notice is a big old gash in the tire here, but that's not what's causing the flat something in this tire I guarantee you if I pull it out it's going to start leaking but that's alright I got air and I got plugs <laughs> golly but that is the least of their worries on this cart that looks pretty uh, normal over here but if we pan over here, look at this shock. It's just completely broke, busted. It's supposed to go here. The shock mount is actually bent. The rear axle, I mean the leaf spring is broken and bent. The throttle for the shift cable up here is all mangled and the muffler has been pushed back. Something got in here and just broke the shock and pushed the muffler back you can tell by the muffler hold down uh, strap right here it's supposed to be over here inside this little saddle so it's just been man mangled and pushed back yeah, it's just not a good deal I don't know what the manufacturer's got going on here with these. I guess that's those are extensions for the shock whenever they installed the lift kit or the bigger tires. They had to put uh, bigger springs on it or drop shackles and whatnot. But yeah, that just doesn't look like it's very sturdy to me. So I'm definitely gonna have to order some parts for this sucker. I hate to leave them out here without a cart, but you know, they can run it without the shock absorber. They just can't just be horsing around with it. But let's go ahead and I'm gonna fix this hole in the tire and get everything aired back up. And uh, we'll see what we can come up with as far as parts. I mean, just look at the shock bushings. They're just completely rotted check out the bushings on the shackle itself the leaf spring shackles those actually need to be replaced they're completely shot on the the right side too sounds like the school's playing the 18 theme song over there. hey guys if you're looking for a really good super heavy duty uh, plug-in kit by blackjack is to me in my opinion i've got several of these i put one kit in every car that i own and i keep one in the shop and i made my work buy me one because they're so awesome they are super heavy duty they got a steel core in the handle they have replaceable tips all you have to do is remove the set screw and, but I tell you what, I've never had to replace a tip because they're just so strong. It, 
uh, this kit is about 10 years old, so it's got some parts missing. It's, it comes with a uh, valve core tool and also comes with interchangeable little screwdrivers that you can use. And it comes with the lube and uh, your tire patches, which you'll run out of eventually and you'll have to replace those. But yeah, I'll put a link in the description to where you can get this blackjack tire repair kit. And also I will link it in the comment section of this video. Who can tell me why the outside and the inside of this tire is just wore out and the center is still good. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this bottom broken shock mount. No big deal, just a nine sixteenths. Now I'm gonna take this shock off. Same thing, you just, you know, actually you can twist it out. You see how this shift cable is all bent in and it's, it's actually rubbing the muffler. I wonder if I can, I wonder if this bracket's bent. It, I'll have to look at another one. I got one at the shop that we could look at to see, but I think that this bracket has been tweaked. It has to be. There's no way that all of that should be like that. So that's how far it bent before it broke. Ain't this something? Now, here's a little trick that a lot of people don't know about on these club cars. If you're trying to order parts and your parts department says, I gotta have a serial number, and the one that they stamped down here on this bottom rail is missing, they also have a serial number right behind this dashboard. Take this screw out and the one on the other side, you don't even have to take them all the way out, just loosen them up. And then that dashboard will pull out just enough to get that serial number. And there it is with all its glory. Can I get a shot at it? Oh, yeah, there we go. you a picture of that and save it to your phone you'll always have the serial number that you need Ooh, it's hotter than two rats making whoopee in a wool sock outside man off to the parts house i go uh we didn't get much repaired on this one because we had to order some parts but uh we did get the flat fixed and i'm going to let the customer know not to drive it until i can get it fixed of course we know that's not going to happen they're going to ride it like a freaking I don't know what but anyway hey if this helped you out please give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and while you're there click the bell to get all my new videos hey y'all have a good day